Hi, this is Dr. Stephen with OutClick Magazine. Today, we're excited to bring to you Levi Christ and Jason Anton, who are coming to our Genvis Venetian Art Society. Levi and Jason, welcome to today's program. It's Hello. great to be with you. Hi. Great to be with you. We were chatting a little bit before we got started. You all uh, are on tour and you are doing some really great things. Um, but tell us, uh, Levi, we'll start with you. Tell us about yourself a little bit uh, before I start. Your concert is, um, when is your concert? I had it on here. December 6th and 7th, 2022, here at uh, the Venetian Art Society. You're going to be at Pompano Beach Cultural Center and at ArtServe. We always try to get the dates out there first. But yes. go ahead, tell us a little bit about what your concert is and what we can expect. It's excited to come back. We're excited to come back down to, to South Florida. We've been taking our my annual Home for the Holidays tour to South Florida every year. Uh, and um, it's it's become a tradition for a lot of holiday folks. Uh, so I, my name is Levi. I'm originally from Oliver Springs, Tennessee, graduated class of five people. Wow. <laughs> I was valedictorian with a C average. <laughs> He's tired of hearing that one. Okay. <laughs> he was. Yeah, I'm, from, I'm, from Versailles, I'm from Versailles, Kentucky. We at least had 265 people in our class. It was a little bit, a little bit bigger class than you did. But go ahead. Pretty, pretty fancy. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, you know, I've always, I've always uh, been doing music on the road since I was 12 years old. Matter of fact, Jason and I met because we uh, had uh, become a part of what some of your uh, readers might uh, remember the out music movement that was happening in the 2000s with the out music awards and where a lot of us artists who were disenfranchised from the major label world began to tour the pride festivals and 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 be a part of a lot of the events and write about our life as lgbtq and uh, so we would tell our stories in the advocate and out magazine and attitude and dna and all of the all of the the uh, the gay publications across the world it was so fun and we actually met uh after being uh, on a lot of the pride circuits for a while. Um, and I was writing a lot of my own music in the Americana genre. And uh, he uh, is landed in classical crossover. Uh, so uh, it's kind of fun to, you know, have our separate worlds of music, but also be able to come together to South Florida and share our own individual journeys. Wow, that's fascinating. And you all are a couple in real life. We sure are. Ma yes. Married four years in the four, four years in November. <laughs> four yeah. years, as we often joke, that's 20 years in the straight world. So congratulations. <laughs> yeah. We've been together for 13 years, though. So yeah. 13 years. Like, okay. That would yeah. be 150 years in the straight world. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seems like yesterday. That's awesome. Before we, uh, we'll come back to your website, but Jason, tell us about you a little bit. Sure. I just um, released my debut clock classical crossover album, Inside My Heart, um, pre-pandemic, just at the beginning of the pandemic, which is a great time to launch a new project. So uh, this upcoming year is going to be the first year I actually tour the, the material. Um, I recorded the album with a 60-piece orchestra, and I sing in five languages. Uh, it's very reminiscent of Andrea Bocelli, Josh Groban, that kind of vibe. And I love it. I'm just excited to bring my my show for the first time, my solo show to South Florida in March. So yours is coming up March 9th, 2023. Right. Now you got say, blown away by the hurricane. Yes, I was uh, going to debut yeah. in September, but uh, the Mother Nature had other plans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so we have other plans. He's going to join me during the, the holiday tour in yes. South Florida to okay. be able to give a little teaser to okay. some of our South Floridians on what they can expect on March 9th. Yes. Okay. Okay. We'll go ahead. Will's helping us in the background. We'll pull up the Venetian Art Society uh, first on the website. We'll pull that up. Then I'm going to pull up their individual websites so we can show about their music. Will's helping us in the background. So tell us, uh, you've got, tell us again what you've got going in the date so we can show people. Um, December 6th and 7th, uh, okay. I, will, I will be at uh, December 6th. December 6th is Pompano Beach Arts. Right. December right. seventh is Art Serve uh, in Fort Lauderdale Gen in Gen Boss. Okay. Yes. Um, right. And then uh, and Jason Jason will be with me. Uh, we'll feature a couple of songs from his album, a duet of "Come What May" from Moulin Rouge oh, wow. that we do together. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Jason, you'll be what? 
where are you on March 9th? March 9th in Fort Lauderdale. March 9th. Yep. You're also down here. Yeah. Yes. So it, they can click on the, the Venetian Art Society. Uh, there's my ring doorbell, of course. Oh, uh, they can click on the Venetian Art Society website and go and find more information about that. Willie Riddle, we were talking as a friend of ours. And Willie, is, as we say in Kentucky, Willie's a hoot. He <laughs> is so much. Uh, go ahead and click on that uh, December 6th there, uh, Will. Will's, Willie's a hoot. He works so hard to get all of this done at all these concerts promote it and if you willie calls you should block out at least 45 minutes to uh talk on the phone to willie is that is that can we agree on that he's yes about yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he'll have a million fun ideas so we highly recommend if you uh, are bored and need some energy uh willie is the one to talk to yes yeah for sure. yeah uh yeah. Levi, let's pull up your website i want people to know about you what you've got going on with your uh music if you want uh go ahead will and show us that you uh, so I just got off the road with the Broadway show Hades Town, playing the role of Hermes. Uh, that was a, a a year on the road. We just got back, so we're literally just kind of home for about a month or so before we head out to do the Home for the Holidays tour. Uh, we've got a lot of cities that we're doing, uh, but Jason and I are both rather fond of going to South Florida for work and leisure. <laughs> we lived yeah. there for a little while too. Yeah, and we lived in Miami for a while. Okay, and now I have I have to ask, I have heard so many great things about Hayes Town. It's coming here to South Florida to uh, two of our venues here. What is that show like? Can I ask, is that all right? Oh, what's going to be great is that night that I have the show, I think I'm stealing about half of the cast are going to come and see me. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, so whoever's not on for the night, expect them at yeah, the show. Because the show's on during the week of Levi's shows in South Florida. So awesome. go see Hades Town and come see Levi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That sounds like a winner. We're so blessed to have so much music here. Oh, it's uh, so fun. You know, the, the music itself is very Americana, rootsy, uh -huh. bluesy, gospel roots kind of thing. I mean, I, I really took to the music first and foremost. And then it's just an original idea because a lot of Broadway, you know, I've been I've been doing musical theater for 20 years. Um, uh Broadway is 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 churning out a lot of like movie musicals and musician musicals and books to musicals, but writing something purely original um, is not as common as I personally wish that it would be. And so, something like Hades Town was an opportunity to kind of see something original take the stage. Mm. I have heard so. I haven't yet to see it. It is on my calendar to see. Is there anything on the website you want us to look at before we switch over? No, just the dates. And of course, if anybody is a fan of Outcome, they're watching and they're in, they happen to be in Naples or they happen to be in ten, in Nashville, they can, you know, there's the date. There's the date. All right, Jason, let's pull up your website and tell us a little bit. We'll look through there. Uh, we learned a little bit about your music, but go ahead. Sure. Well, also to, just to mention uh, Levi's show, Levi plays the entire show at the piano. He sings and he storytells from the bench the entire time he accompanies okay. himself if you haven't seen it before it's amazing if i don't say so myself okay. um you won't it will it will go by so quickly and it's um holiday stories uh stories about broadway yeah uh humor and yeah. then a duet with me so how can you go wrong <laughs> <laughs> and now as for my music uh, my music's slightly different um okay. as i mentioned i i sing in five languages. Including. In our relationship, I call him Crescent, as in Crescent Roll, because he's fancy, <laughs> and I'm Butter Biscuit. Okay. <laughs> both, I, I can hear that in them. your accents, but yes, that's cute. Right. Um, so I, I guess it's just a little different style, but we do work well together. Uh, we, we do duets around the home that, that aren't released. What I think but, is interesting about his show, and you're getting us total relationship mode yes. right now, is I actually think that what's interesting about the classical crossover genre is that it doesn't have a lot of male solo artists that I think personally have such a distinct tear in their voice. It's all very beautiful and operatic and 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 gorgeous to listen to the instrument of, but oftentimes you don't get someone who can sort of really kind of pierce the heart and be like, oh my God, I'm I'm crying now because of that song. In a it, in a way that feels very human and down to earth. And I think that that's the really interesting combination of what he does. Yeah. And my show is not stuffy at all, even though the music is very elegant and beautiful and and, and, fancy. and orchestral. 
I, I tell the story of my life and my journey through uh, childhood, growing up Catholic, exploring different types of music. I was a dance artist. I, I charted three times on Billboard as a as a dance artist and how, and how you get stuck in things and happiness and depression and overcoming things. So I, I try to heal people through my music and and you know we're all the same. We all go through things and just to come out on the other side um, and find joy wherever you can is is my mission. So yeah. And that is a beautiful way to express something through music. Um, yeah. I like pianist and organist and handball ringer myself. Okay. That, that is uh yeah, that's a wonderful thing to express. And that's, you know, why I do it. That's why I do it for myself. A lot of times yeah, you, have to, you have to communicate with people in a, in a way they don't, um, you know, we can say words, we can think things, but sometimes letting your guard down and letting the music take over and heal you, you, you never know, you never know who you're helping. It can say things in a way that like just sometimes a one-on-one -on -one conversation can't do. And that's why we need art. Yeah, for sure. And I, I ask this question a lot of times with musicians. Uh, if you want people to walk away with one thing from your concerts after they walk away, what's one thought, feeling, emotion that you might want them to walk away with? An album? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it an merch table? <laughs> no, it's so, so silly. Uh, what do I want them to walk away with? I want them to be overwhelmed with emotion for themselves, not not from me, but yeah. but something that they have with the, from the connection repressed or haven't thought about, or they want to call that person that they haven't talked to in a while. Some sort of a, a loving movement from my music is 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 my goal. Yeah, for for me, and I, and I try to work this in even even in holiday tours, because a lot of my original music that has been featured in television shows like The Vampire Diaries and Sons of Anarchy and So You Think You Can Dance all have a message of self-love underneath. Mm -hmm. And I think as someone who has come from, you know, I'm 13 years sober from a crystal meth addiction. I've gone through six years of conversion therapy. I have found a way to love myself. And, and, and it's been a lifetime journey for me. And it, it, it's a decision every day. So if there's anything that I feel like I try to weave through the message of my live shows, my albums, is that you really can fall in love with who you are. Love all the parts of you, the ugly parts, the pretty parts, the parts that you don't even understand yet, and just make a lifestyle out of learning how to actively love who you are. And that is a beautiful way to end, I think, our time together. Thank you Thank so you. much for joining us. This has been amazing getting to know uh, both of you. My last question I always ask, is there anything uh, we didn't cover that you wanted to add? Favorite donut? <laughs> Mine I is an apple fritter right now. Apple <laughs> is that a donut? I don't know. <laughs> that could be a good debate. Um, Mine is uh, glazed with chocolate on the top. It's just, okay, there you go. Okay. I just hope the... Uh, the LGBTQ plus community comes out and supports um, these concerts and yeah. would like to meet and connect with people and yeah. get to make new fans and, and new connections with everybody. And yeah. we love South Florida. There's a lot of people out there um, that love music yeah. and um, come check and out. And who also relate to the fact that our journeys are very LGBTQ specific. Yeah. And I have a lot to say about that. So does Jason. And so to be with our family, to be with our community and be able to share art with that, come, come support your LGBTQ and let us support you by, uh, through art, yeah. you know? Uh, if they get to know you on a level like we have in these next few minutes, they will be instant fans and uh, instant followers. I have no doubt whatsoever. I, I, it would be really awesome uh, getting you all here and getting you out to the crowd and people to get to know you on this level. Thank, Thank you. you. We appreciate Thanks. it. Stephen. We're Thanks. going to put up the website again here. I'm going to get the other screen uh, against the Venetian Art Society, which is also Genvis. Uh, the first two concerts are December 6th and 7th, 2022. And then Jason, you're coming. We're going to try this time, March 9th, 2023. Um, I'm sure if you uh, autograph an album or something, there'll be something you know, we'll, we'll be a, a good greet and meet there at ArtServe, Pompano Beach Cult Culture Center, which are all great uh, clients of uh, the magazine. Um, all right, guys. Thanks so much. And uh, we look forward to, there's our closing music. We look forward to having you. And again, pull this out. 
Again, I am Stephen from uh, OutClick Magazine. And everybody, we look forward to a very, very great holiday season. Thanks, and have a great afternoon.